What's up everyone? Welcome back. My name is Chris Lounsbury. Thanks for tuning in. Um, first of all, I want to say hope everyone had a ha happy Valentine's Day. Mine was pretty chill. Picked up some donuts from this place called Sidecar in Costa Mesa. If you haven't gone, you should definitely go. Amazing donuts. Um, then watched a little bit of the All-Star Game. Um, had a little wine. Watched a movie. Had a really good time. Um, but anyway, for today's video, I have a few pickups for you guys. Um, this video is probably going to be short and sweet. It's very hot outside, so I'm going to try to get straight to the point. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it. Uh, for the first item, I have a pair of uh, light blue jeans. These are the Nudie Thin Fin uh, Summer Sky color. Now I got these from Grailed. I was in the market for some new jeans. Uh, and because I have the blue was like stonewashed uh, Levi's pair that you guys have seen before but they are Levi's they were very very cheap and uh, you know you can tell I mean they're very thin and I'm kind of getting some crotch rippage in them and uh, you don't want that so um, I decided to kind of upgrade to these again these are nudie the thin fins and to be honest these are probably like the best fitting jean I've ever gotten like off the rack so I haven't altered them at all um, they are size 30 with a 34 inseam I find myself kind of in between um, sizes like in between the 29 and 30 uh, usually 29s fit good in the waist but the legs are way too tight I can't even get my leg in there 30s are good I have a little extra room in the waist but they fit well through the leg and these are slim through the thigh, slim through the calf. Um, they do with a 34 inch inseam. They do create like that stacking effect that I know a lot of you guys, that I know a lot of you guys like. Um, and I'll probably keep them like that. You know, um, some of my other pants don't have that stacking, so it's nice to have a little bit of variety. But I definitely recommend these. These are 100% organic cotton, so they're very soft to the touch. Um, at the same time. They kind of allow me to move and they, they give a little bit they have a little stretch so that's really important to me because you know i i squat and stuff i have uh, kind of big legs i guess and uh, i need to be able to move a lot of the times if i get jeans that are 100 percent cotton that don't have some uh, elastane or spandex in them you know it's just kind of awkward to, to be getting in and out of cars or if, if i'm squatting down to pick something up so uh, these eliminate that problem very comfortable to wear slim yet I'm also uh, free to move around in them. so uh, I will link them in the description again I got these off of grilled at a, a very good price um, maybe you guys can find them as well I know they have people are selling like some other colors and stuff as well so um, and I'll probably get more colors so definitely check them out All right, next item are these navy blue suede Vans slip-on. Very simple, there's not much to say about this. Uh, the classic gum bottom in that grid pattern. You have the white um, outsole, or midsole rather, um, and then this like blue suede, you know, along the upper. Um, not the best suede, but there are Vans, like $40. Um, I got these at Nordstrom's. I will link them in the description. They might still have them. I went with the size nine. Normally I'm a nine and a half, but I do like my slip-ons to be a little on the more snug side. Um, I probably could have gone to a nine and a half, but you know, um, I stuck with a nine. So uh, I'll put these on for you guys just so you can see how they look on feet. Moving on, the next couple of pickups I have for you are more along the lines of performance-based shoes. I got a couple of pairs. Um, I'm just going to go through them really quick just because I got them in the past couple months and I really enjoy them. If you guys want me to start doing um, actual performance reviews on the shoes 
and you know go in uh, go more in depth on on um, how they feel on feet and um, how they perform and stuff like that just let me know in the comments or you know hit me up on Instagram or whatever because I have tons of basketball shoes and workout shoes um, because most of the time that's what I'm in um, I like live in the gym um, always playing basketball so yeah just let me know um, and let me show you these pairs well, up first is the Under Armour Curry 2 um, got these a couple months back really enjoy them I'm just gonna briefly talk about some of the features we have a speed form upper which is kind of what this shoe is known for um, the front half is uh, it's still speed form but it's covered in this sort of rubber rubberized fused material there are perforations going throughout um, this speed form compared to like the runners or the training shoes is quite stiffer so so keep that in mind um, charge cushion um, and then you know this kind of organic herringbone pattern is what they're calling this I believe really good grip the squeaks and everything so um, I went true to size in these and they fit very very well on like one to one fit I went nine and a half so you know get your true size on these so here they are on to the next ones <laughs> Nike Free Trainer 5.0. Now these aren't a new model by any means. In fact, I think they're a couple years old. But I just really, really like this colorway. You have like this hot pink um, on the lace eyelets, which is actually um, kind of like flywire. And then you have this kind of gray, different colors of gray um, camo along the upper, and it's like a it's like a mesh. And then this shoe, which is like my favorite feature, has that booty-like construction. You know, so it's just like a sock, you just get right into it. And they're very comfortable. Has the free-inspired bottoms. And yeah, um, they're on sale now, I think. I'll try to link them below. Funny story how I got these, though. My buddy came over and he was wearing these, and apparently he's not supposed to wear these kind of shoes because he's got messed up feet. He's only supposed to wear Asics. And I told him that he should just give them to me. He didn't like that idea too much. So I offered him my Kevin Durant shoes, the KD7s. Coincidentally, I broke my foot in those. So I'm never going to wear them again. So uh, I just said, you know what, take them off my hands. And then, uh, you know, I took these. So it was a good trade in my eyes. Um, whatever. I, I hope he doesn't mess his foot up in those. Like I said, if you guys want me to do in-depth reviews on those or really any shoes just let me know and, and I'll see what I can do <laughs> alright guys thank you so much for watching I really appreciate it hit that thumbs up button let me know if you like the video it goes a long way and um, comment share subscribe and uh, you know just uh, let me know if you picked up any of those items and we'll see you back next week peace Chris Lonsbury signing out Birds chirping, there's cars making noise. <sighs> so, a lot of times you get jeans that's, um, that's hundred... Come on, dog. In a few videos. But <laughs> the thirst is real. It's really hot tonight, today. Enjoy doing that. I have tons of. Um, Closing time. Closing time. You know that song? Yeah. Uh, Closing time.